What's going on YouTube? Today I have another new custom blaster for your uh, enjoyment. Um, I started this one like right before I finished the Redwood and so I could have more uh, more stuff to do while I was waiting for the Redwood to uh, dry its uh, paint and stuff. And so that's when I started this one. This one um, is, go is supposed to be the accompanying blaster for the uh, Redwood. It's supposed to have the same color scheme and if I was to use the Redwood in an indoor war or something, uh, I'd probably use the uh, this gun along with it. So anyway, yeah, um, I'm gonna show you a few clips of. Uh, there's not that much uh, building into it because it's not that complicated of a blaster at all. It's just kind of a. I don't know. It's pretty simple, and there wasn't that much work that I had to do internally. And plus, I've already showed the painting thing on the redwood, so I'm just gonna leave the painting entirely out. So I'll just show you these uh, little clips here, and then uh, I can reveal the blaster. So watch those. Okay, here's what I've done so far. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so what I've done to the shell here, um, on both sides, I have sanded out some of the ridges so that the newly uh, larger tank fit in here. Basically what this is, is it's a half-inch PVC PVC coupler uh, with an end on it, so that's... Uh, J, uh, JB Weld Quick Steel in there, and then it's got Bondo all over it. Maybe kind of sloppy, but you won't be able to see it, so that's all right. So I cut off the entire thing, so it's just the little nub sticking out there where the air comes out. So that's all I've really done to the tank. What I've done, uh, yeah. So also, what I've also done is I've widened this a lot more, just because it'll be easily easier to secure the coupler like completely straight in, so it'll be shooting completely straight. Um, also, I've sanded down the logo and the warning signs, so because I'm getting ready to paint it here in just a little bit, that'll be the next. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, and also I made these little um, dart holders that'll go on the sides here. I can't decide if I want to put them here or here, but um, yeah, so there'll be one on each side, and so it'll hold six extra uh, slugs when I need them. So yeah, um, it's got an eight-inch barrel that I'm gonna use, and okay, here's the pump. All I did, plug it with hot glue right there, and then plug that also. And then what I've done here is I just took off that blue piece that was on here, because I don't really think that's that comfortable for my large hands. And then uh, I put E-tape all around it, and then I put some uh, quick steel behind this. And what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to paint this. This is my new ha pumping handle for this. Sorry about that, guys. It just cut off on me. Anyway, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I made it to where... The E-tape in here fits like a pipe just perfectly, and so then I'm going to paint this, and then I'm going to put some Bondo around it to seal it on there, and this will be my new pump. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do, uh, I might put it in the scene of painting or not, but that's what I'm going to do next is paint it, so see ya. Alright guys, after seeing those clips, you probably figured out it's a Panther, and so yeah, I kind of wanted to do an air-powered blaster. Um, I'm pretty happy with this one, but I know that it could be so much more than I've done to it, but just simply I wanted to get it done and have another blaster done and get this one out of the way. So this is the Inferno. As you can see here, it is a panther. It's very simple. It's just the same color scheme. It says Inferno right there on it on both sides. Um, all it is really, it's just a panther. I just did a different color scheme on it. Um... Same color, I mean, same color scheme. Um, it has a coupler on it. One thing I gotta say about the coupler first, the barrel is very, very slightly off to the left, and it does point up a little bit from the blaster, if you can see that, but it also increases range, so that's not really a bad thing. The thing is, it does point a tiny bit off to the left, and so that could be a little bit of a problem with naming this thing. This thing probably isn't going to be a super sniping blaster like long, a long shot or something like this. But this would be uh, good for something if someone rushes you. Or a few people rush you like zombies let's say. And they're like 30 feet away. You could easily snipe them out with this thing. It may take a little while to load but it's worth it when it uh, gets the thing out with quite a bit of the dart out with quite a bit of force. Um, so yeah it's just got a coupler in there. As you can see, it's almost flush with the outside of the shell. Not quite. Oh yeah, by the way, I apologize for the bad lighting of this. I'm during, doing it during the day where there's a lot of light and the light changes a lot. So, so we're, sorry for that. Um, just a coupler in there. Um, and I put a cover over this so you couldn't see into the internals from the front. I probably cut off a little too much of the front here, but that's why I was trying to get the orange piece off. And I just kept cutting more and more and more away. So, um, 
it looks fine, but it is a little bit sloppy. Um, yeah, and so then what I have here is the original, this is not, this is the original pump, but I just changed the handle. What I did, um, I have, this is just a P, uh, half inch PVC, uh, 90 degree elbow, half inch end cap, and there's some PVC in here, and that's just what it is, and that's just painted, but in here on the thing, um, I mean on the pump shaft, it's got E-tape wrapped around it, so it acts as a pipe, the same size pipe as half inch PVC, and so I can just put that in there, it'll act as a pipe. But uh, the thing about that is that it'll move around, so I put um, some epoxy putty around it so it won't move, and then um, to keep the handle from moving uh, quite as easily, I put bondoed the whole thing around it. Um, this is definitely the sloppiest part of this blaster, but hey, it still looks alright for what it is. If you look like this, this may look kind of out of place, but the rest is kind of a minor, minor part if you look at the whole blaster. Plus, with this on, you'll probably hardly even notice it that much. Um... So, yeah, it's just an infernal. All I've done internally to it is I have plugged the pump on both ends, that uh, the top the top part and then the side. I didn't feel like cutting out the whole restrictor and just um, gluing it back on. That may be a little sloppy and not as work as well. I don't think that will leak anytime soon, so I think this one may not ever have to be opened up again. The uh, coupler may be slightly weak. Um, all I did was I put a piece of PVC, uh, half inch PVC in the half inch PVC coupler with just a little sticking out and so it would go in and fit over the lip of the, um, let me just show you. First of all, yeah, you see in there, it fits over, there's like, it's higher elevation that just drops a little bit. That was to make it go straight. I don't know how, but I was <laughs> able to manage to get the coupler a little bit off. That's why the barrel is a slightly, slightly to the left, if you can see that. See, it's a little, little left. Um, and then, yeah, also here I have added, um, just, this is just half-inch PVC. It's, this is also a little sloppy, but it's all right. It's not that noticeable. It's just half-inch PVC, and they're all cut into little segments, so these can be dart holders for extra darts when you want to load it. Um, I've tested this thing, and you can fire off about, if you're good at what you do, you can fire off about four darts in 45 seconds. So that's approximately um, about 11.3 11, 11 per second. 11, uh, yeah, one, one dart per every 11.3 seconds. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I think that's right. Anyway, yeah, so that's all I've really done to it. Still pumps just fine. You can pump it like this. You can pump it like this. Um, you can pump it however you want to. It worked for left hand and no problem. It's all good. Um, as you can hear, if this is the thing about uh, Busby Panthers, you got to pull it the trigger pretty fast for the air to release, right? So, see, I pull it slow here. You see, you can hear it release slowly. That's the thing about it. You got to pull it fast on this one, or it'll be kind of a dud and only go about 15 feet, and that's about it. Flat anyway. And if you pull it fast. You can hear the difference. It, it goes a lot farther than it would, which is the little slow pull, tr uh, trigger pull. So, yeah, I painted it all up. Um, yeah, I painted it with the same Krylon red and the brown, and then I detail painted the Inferno uh, thing on here. Also, I have my Silent Sniper symbol, Nerf Con up here. The same one is on that because it's the same color scheme. Um, also, I painted the trigger on this one. And it's um, sealed, so I don't think uh, it'll rub, rub away anytime soon. I think it works just fine. It's not really that rough of a trigger pull, but it is a little bit rough of a trigger pull, but it's a panther. What can you do about that? Um, so, yeah, now I'll take it outside and show you it firing. All right, guys, I'm out here with the Inferno. Um, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to fire off 10 shots uh, flat. This is the same setup as last time on my Overlord video. It's uh, 25 and then 16 foot tape measure because I don't have a big one yet. So I'm going to pump it 14 times and fire it flat with 10 darts. Uh, just please bear with me on here. This is going to take a little bit. Uh, see, there you go. That was one of the bad shots. If you don't pull it fast enough, the, it'll do that. Try another one. That was a good one. All you do is you put it in, put it in, then flip the barrel. It's fast that way. Oh, that was a bad one.
There you go. Yeah, that was a perfect shot. We're almost there, guys. This is number six. Sorry about that, guys. My camera decided to run out of storage capacity. Um, so this is number seven. I mean six. Up, oh, dead. Sorry again, guys. Number seven. Bad one. If you over pump it, the thing the weird thing about this is that it'll do bad shots every time. So 14's about the max. There you go. That was a great one. I may have been a little bit angled, but that went way back there. Alright, last one. There you go. That was a straight shot. All right, we're done. We're gonna go around here. Um, ignore the dud ones, please, because these aren't uh, the good ones. There's one here at um, about 27 feet. That was probably a dud. Um, I'll keep going back. This might take a little bit to find them because they're kind of hard to find sometimes. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Here's one right here um, from about. That looks to be about. About 61 feet right here, uh, flat, so that's pretty dang good. Um, keep looking here. Um, I'm sorry if I don't see them, guys. I'm kind of blind sometimes. That's probably one. I just, no, that's not it. Here's one, and there's one. I'm going to pick these up. Here's another one. Um, I'd say the average is probably like right here because a lot of them were duds. The average right here, so it, this really is about like uh, 60, 60 feet flat right here. Um, and then if we keep going back, I think there's one over here I fired. Let me look here. Ignore all the dog poop, please. We have a dog. It just happens to be inside right now. Um, sorry about this, guys. It's just kind of hard to find them. Dang it. <laughs> one, two, three. Uh, here's another one back here guys. This was one of my straight shots. This one's even farther back. This is probably like 65, 70 back here. This was probably the max right here. It's probably 65, 70 feet uh, flat. So that's pretty good, I gotta say. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna do my next firing test angled. We'll see how that goes. If it doesn't work at all, then it's not good. Found another one here, guys. Uh, this is probably the last one that went far enough. So I got five going far enough. That's simply because I wasn't concentrating. You kind of have to concentrate when you're firing it. It's a little bit difficult to uh, fire. So next, I'm just going to... I'm not going to do angled on this simply because it'd probably go over my fence back here. And um, I have trees, so it's not that great of an accurate test because most of them will probably hit the tree or either go over the fence. So back there, we'll just say back there is about... Um, 110, 120 feet, so I'd probably go about 110, 120 feet for the last of it. Um, yeah. So next I'm going to do a shotgun blast, just to show how ridiculous the barrel is on this thing. This was the type of dart I was firing anyway, guys. Um, this is just like FM foam back rod, um, with a, it has a number six washer in the tip, and then it's just some craft foam on top. I know, uh, a lot of wars probably wouldn't allow craft foam, but, uh, I'm just using these until I can get some phone pads from McMaster. I need a little bit of money right now, so I'm just waiting until my next allowance so I can buy some. Alright guys, I got this here. I'm going to load it up with my custom Stefan stubs. 
all these things are really uh, just little pieces of foam back rod about an inch or less um, and then a BB and hot glue in it and they're tiny little things so you can fit tons and tons of big barrels like this so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna load it up and then flip the barrel load it up with as many as I have in my pocket and I tested this thing yesterday so I know it fires a lot it can fire a, oh, a lot like four or five Steffens out of this barrel like the regular Steffens I was firing I mean the Steffen slugs by mistake guys um, still stuffing them in don't know how many of this is but I got my exacto knife here I'm just shoving them down um, don't try this at home kids <laughs> shove use your uh, ramrod as a <laughs> exacto knife that's not very smart but that's what I'm doing so don't know how many I'm putting in here just going for it see how ridiculous it is what I have there is uh, the doghouse it's about 25 feet away there um, and I'm just gonna hit it and see how much carnage I can cause to it uh, I only got four more to load here guys stick with me hold on is it bottoming out nope still got a while to go <laughs> It can fit like tons and tons in here. Um, I think I'm only going to put one more in here just because. <laughs> and then, yeah. So I've got it completely loaded up with Steffens. It's kind of a B to load if you want to do the shotgun thing like I just did. But um, if you wanted to be in close quarters and you had a lot of time to reload between rushes, that's what it would be a really nice thing to do. So, so I think this thing can get the accurate range to uh, hit that with all these uh, Stefan's uh, stubs left, uh, loaded in it. So I'm gonna do it here now. All right, ready for me. <laughs> yeah, so I imagine you heard that. <laughs> that was pretty ridiculous. I've never actually done that like that. But they just went everywhere and you could hear them go whap on the uh, doghouse if you listen closely. Because there's some here, there's about nine there there's a few behind on on the sides so yeah that just shows you how ridiculous this barrel could be that was about like 10 or 12 Stefan uh stubs uh stuck in there and they still went like 25 feet and they probably could have gone at least if you uh angled it uh flat then it probably could have gone at least like 30 because that wasn't flat i was aiming kind of down because i was back over there but yeah so let me walk back over here real quick sorry guys um so yeah this has been my review of my custom made Inferno Panther. So yeah, uh, this has been the NerfCon one with another custom blaster. Please rate, comment, sub. Bye guys.